Hello everyone. Welcome to practice test training. In this session, I'll cover practice test introduction and some of its key features. Practice test is a test management tool when you can manage your requirements, your test cases, plan your test cycles, execute your test cases, mark them pass or fail, and manage defects. Apart from these key features, it provides other basic features like dashboard, reporting, filtering, etc. So let us go ahead and see these features one by one. So test management is one of the first features. You can create your manual test cases, organize them based on the test cycles, execute them, plan your um, test cycles, execute them, uh, and then raise defects against uh, the failed test cases. You can also integrate your manual test, test cases with automation and continuous integration. Then reusability of the test cases across different releases is another of the feature. So for example, you have a set of test cases, you can identify the regression test cases out of that and then based on different releases, you can execute same test cases for a different release. Second feature is around reporting and dashboard. Practice test has very nice reporting and dashboard features. It's highly customizable and you can easily customize what you want to see on home page. It gives you detailed analysis around the defects, test case execution summary and other uh, traceability matrices. Third feature is around the requirement management. So you can capture your requirements directly into practice test. It has the feature to capture the requirement or you can integrate Jira with practice test and manage your requirements in Jira and then sync it uh, back to practice test. So basically the syncing will happen automatically. So for example, you import your requirement once and then if you do any updation in Jira, it will update the requirement automatically in practice test. So requirement management can be done locally in practice test or you can use Jira uh, and then integrate with practice test. Another feature is around issue and back bug tracking, which is key for any test management tool. So once you write the requirements, you write the test cases against those requirements, you plan your test cycles and try to uh, run those test cases against the um, any uh, release or uh, build that you get from the developer. You can start issue and bug tracking. Any, def any test case that got failed, you need to raise a defect for that. Practice test provides you the ability to manage defects internally or it provides you the ability to integrate with other third-party tools like Jira, Pivotal Tracker, Redmine, etc. And you can raise defects in those tools and it will automatically create a link in practice test uh, against the failed test. Uh, test so that's another uh, very nice feature in practice test which gives you flexibility if you want to use any third party uh, other tool for uh, defect management and not practice test. We'll cover the integration part. Integration is pretty simple to set up with practice test. So we'll cover how to set up the integration and managing defects internally or externally in later sessions. Next feature is around smart filtering. So you can organize your test issues requirements based on different criteria. So practice test provides a lot of filters. So you can apply those filters and organize your test cases accordingly and as per the needs that you have. Another feature is customization. So you, you can customize practice test processes as well as you custom you can customize the template. So for example, in the defect template you want to add more fields, then you can you have flexibility to add custom fields and 
also you can customize the process. Next feature is around time management, which is pretty helpful in case um, in case of you know like estimation and actual time taken to do a particular execution. So, for example, you have a set of test cases and you have estimated fifteen minutes or twenty minutes for a particular test case to be executed. Once you actually you, you log that time, your estimated time, and then once the actual execution starts for that test cases, it will also capture the actual time taken to pass that test case. And then you can do that analysis around the estimated and the actual time and see where you need to adjust or where, where the gap was around the estimation and the actual timeline. So that's pretty helpful feature in practice test. The last thing that we want to cover in introduction is integration. So practice test allows you integration with Jira, Bugzilla, Pivotal Tracker, Redmine. You can manage your requirements and defects either in Jira or you can manage your requirements in Jira and defects in any other third party tool like Redmine, Bugzilla, or Pivotal Tracker. Integration is pretty simple and straightforward. So we'll, we'll cover the details around integration in data session. So that's pretty much around introduction and the key features. Thank you.